G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my $1 collection book here already partly filled, actually nearly fully filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And all we are really looking for is one coin to finish off this book, the 2016 uh, changeover coin, the 50th anniversary of decimal currency. We have all the other commemorative coins and all the other ancillary not intended for circulation coins that we found over the journey and the book is uh quite full because we've been going now for quite some time we've got a uh, number of uh great coins in here but we're going to put the book to the side because we really want to find that changeover so let's get into the rolls we have 12 rolls 240 dollars worth of one dollar coins and we are going to go through them front and back, obverse and reverse, trying to find that elusive changeover coin. That is the Mob of Roos. That's the standard $1 coin design. Uh, the coin was first issued in 1984 this year, so that this has been around as long as $1 coins have been around. And we'll be looking through both front and back, looking for the commemorative coins and the changeover this is our first commemorative coin this is a centenary of girl guiding from 2010 it's a highly minted coin so it's going to go up on the top row we're going to call that the uh common commemorative row we're going to put the coins up there when we find them and we are going to actually we're going to pull in a little bit yep there we go I'm going to go look at the front and back and try and find that changeover coin. There we have the Dancing Man. It's from 2005. That's the 60th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. And that will also go up on the top row because it's a highly minted commemorative coin. And as we go through the coins, I'll also be looking out for any errors or uh, years of low mintage, which is 2014. I'll also be looking for the years... Uh, let's go through this first. This is the Sir, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith from 1997, 100th anniversary of Charles Kingsford Smith's birth. He is one of our pioneer aviators, and he will go up on the top row because that coin is a, also a highly minted commemorative coin. And I'll be looking for the coins with the years 1987, 1989, 1990, 1991, 2007, and 2012 because the mob of ruse for those years were only issued into sets. So if I find one of those, it's not intended for circulation. Here's our first Centenary of Federation. We always check that for a rotation error. That one seems to be fine though, and it is highly minted. So it will go up on the top row. We will continue to look through the coins. Here we have our first 100 years of Anzac, The Spirit Lives. This series ran from 2014 to 2018 inclusively. This is a 2014 coin, which is the highest minted of that full series. So it'll go up on the top row, and if we find any of the other years, we'll put it down on the bottom row as a keeper. This is the 1993 Landcare Australia coin, uh, commemorating Australia's Landcare organisation, looks after our, uh, agricultural lands and rivers and so forth. That is also highly minted, so it's going to go up on the top row, and we'll get on to our second roll. And when we get past the third roll, we'll speed the hunt up. Uh, so we will only stop for when we find coins that we haven't seen for the day. But until that time, we'll go through the coins as they come in the rolls. Here we have 2022, and it is a dinosaur coin. This is Diamantinosaurus. It's a coin that was issued in conjunction with the Australia Post in a four dinosaur coin set in 2022. And it is not a Royal Australian Mint um, issue proper so it's going to go down on the bottom row because it's, it's lower minted uh, and it's technically not intended for circulation coin but it is a lower minted coin so it will go down on that bottom row then we'll keep going and here we have the international year of peace this is the very first one dollar denomination commemorative coin in 1986 only two years after the one dollar started being issued and that will go up on the top row because it is also highly minted Common commemorative. Here's another one of those, the Centenary of Commonwealth Age Pension. 
from 2009, also highly minted. Uh, hard to get in really good grade, a particular coin, because they weren't issued into sets, so there aren't very many uncirculated issues of those. Another Dancing Man. Check him out, and then he'll go up on the top row. And we'll continue on. Find the 2007 APEC Australia coin, celebrating the APEC meeting in 2007. That was the only uh, one dollar coin issued into circulation in that year, which is why if we find a 2007 mob of brews, we'll be very, very excited because they were those coins were only issued into uh, sets. Here we have a 2011 Chogham coin. Chogham stands for Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. That meeting was held in Perth, Australia in 2011. And also we'll go on the top row. We'll make another one because we've run out of room. And we'll keep going looking for those commemorative coins. There's another Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, 1987. And then we'll hit our third roll and see how we go with this one. Is a 2002, so that should be a year of the Outback. There we go, 2002 year of the Outback. Also highly minted, and we'll go up on the top row. Another 2014 100 years of Anzac. Another year of the Outback. Is a 2016 in good nick, but it's just the mob of ruse. So we'll keep going looking for that elusive changeover. 1985. Let's check that one for a rabbit ear cud. Haven't found one of those yet. Looking for that. Another centenary of federation. A shot out of rotation error, but not to be today. And we'll continue on out for any rim cards or mint marks another 1993 land care 1999 is the first time we're seeing the international year of older persons let's say 1999 also uh, highly minted it'll go up on the top row another 85 and another shot at a rotation era centenary federation we'll see how that goes no that's fine that one and we have the last few coins in that third roll. Now we will speed the hunt up. And I'll only stop if we find anything of any note or if we haven't seen the coin previously in the hunt. So let's crack on. And there for the first time we see the centenary of scouting it's quite worn uh, strike looks to be very shallow this is from 2008 celebrating uh, 100 years of scouting in australia so highly minted and we'll go up on the top row and there we have a little 1996 uh, sir henry parks with a couple of fives hit into that this is the first time we're seeing that coin for the day and the father of federation sir henry parks 1996 it was a hundred years from his death also highly minted but also with uh, those kind of that kind of damage it doesn't give it any extra value And there for the first time today, we see the Bicentennial Celebration from 1988. So highly minted. And we'll go up on the top row.
And there we're going to find something. We have a 2024 coin with a memorial effigy. And I think I know what this one's going to be. It should be an AFL, um, yeah, an AFL Premiership season. Uh, best and fairest medal. This is the AFL men's season. Best and fairest medal, the Chaz Brownlow medal or trophy. And it's a 2023 was the trophy, the AFL trophy, premiership trophy. This is the best and fairest trophy, the Chaz Brownlow medal. So that's a very uh, new coin out in circulation. It's going to go down on the bottom. It's going to be definitely a keeper for the wider collection. Here is another coin that we haven't seen today, the International Year of Volunteers from 2001. Also highly minted, and it's going to go up on the top row. And there we have a colored one dollar coin this is the donation dollar there it says donation dollar to help others this is from 2021 second year that that was issued uh, it's a highly minted coin it was specifically designed to be donated if you got it in your change donated it to charity so that's going to go down with the keepers row because it's going to go back into circulation as a donation uh, i usually do that to all the donation dollars that i pull out of circulation uh, I do have one in the book and I've got a few in my collection, but I don't keep more than, say, about 10 of those and the rest all go back to be donated to charity. And we have a 2023 coin with the $1 on the obverse there in the memorial effigy. And it is from the Matildas, the Australian women's national football team. This is the header. And it is also a corporate issue program coin. It was issued in conjunction with uh, Australia Post. No, sorry, Woolworths. It came out of the Woolworths and it will go down on the bottom because it is a lower minted commemorative coin. And there we have also a coin that we don't see very often. It's making a difference. Australia's Volunteers from 2003. Not as highly minted as some of the other com common commemoratives. So it'll go up on the top row. And I will have a look at that a bit later on because I might pull that one out of circulation. I do like to grab that one out of circulation because it is not as highly minted as some of the others.
Oh, and there we go. We have our first Great Aussie Coin Hunt coin. This is the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number three from 2022 with the letter A for Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. This is also a low minted coin. We'll be putting that down with the keepers down at the bottom. We'll go into the wider collection. And that then brings us on to the last roll. So hopefully we have a bit of last roll luck. Centurion Federation rotation would be good, but no, not to be again today. But we've still got a few more coins to see if we're going to get that changeover in this last roll. There's a couple of decent coins down on the keeper row at the bottom. Nothing particularly spectacular, but... Better than nothing at this stage. What's going on there? Oh, a bit of uh, a bit of raving action by the look of it. I'll put that to the side. That looks a little bit strange. Another dancing man for the pile that we have already. 2016 but not the changeover but it doesn't look like we're going to uh, get that elusive changeover again today as we roll through the last few coins checking out the dates and there we go there we have it that's it well, I don't need to go through all of the other coins uh, as it were uh, I put aside two 2,000 coins uh, that had the possibility of having a mule on it. It's going to go in the collection of 2,000 coins that uh, the year 2,000 coins that I'm holding just to see how many I have a chance at and over a couple of months. Um, but what we did pick up today was the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number three, the A for Aussie, 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 2022. We picked up a Matilda's coin from 2023 from the Australian Women's National Football Team issued for the FIFA World Cup in 2023, held in Australia and New Zealand. Picked up the donation dollar from 2021, the only coloured $1 coin that we have in circulation. That will go back uh, into the charity pot somewhere. And we have a dinosaur coin, Australian's dinosaur, Diamantinosaurus, uh, from, also from 2022 in conjunction with Australia Post, but then probably the nicest coin that we picked up today, the 2024 AFL Premiership Season Best and Fairest Trophy, the Chaz Brownlow Trophy or Chaz Brownlow Medal from 2024 with the Memorial Effigy. So there we go. That's what we got for today. Unfortunately, no uh, changeover to fill in the book and close the book out, but we'll continue on and see how we go. If you enjoy what I do, please think about subscribing to the channel so that you'll see more of these kind of hunts. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're uh, finding any of these uh, newer coins in your change or indeed if you are noodling. But otherwise, I'll be back for more noodling in a few days. So I'll see you then. Bye.